We have all heard the names. Bill Russell. Wilt Chamberlain. But you may or may not know the name. Paul Arison. Paul Arison, born April 9, 1928, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, to a French immigrant father and an Irish immigrant mother. Paul always had a passion for basketball, so in his high school days, he tried out for the team and he made it. But the coach didn't think he was very good, so he only got to play in a few games very sparingly before he got cut. After he got a cut, he decided to join his church's basketball organization. In that organization, he played for six or seven teams, but he figured out while playing how deadly his jump shot could be, so he decided to master it. After high school, the academically gifted Paul enrolled at Villanueva University. While he was attending Villanueva, he played in many different basketball leagues. In these leagues were a bunch of World War II veterans, but that's besides the point. As Paul was really good, the coach, Al Servant, saw Paul play and decided to offer him a scholarship to join the varsity squad. And in his sophomore year, he made the team. It took him some time to get used to the collegiate level of basketball. So his first seven games, he didn't play much. And in his eighth game, he went scoreless. But his ninth game, he scored 10 points against Manhattan College. But in his junior year, he started balling out, averaging 22 points a game. He even had a game where he scored 85 points. He led the Wildcats to a 22 and three record and he advanced him to the 1949 NCAA tournament where Arzen had 30 points against the matchup of All-American future NBA star Alex Gorza. But he did lose the game 85 to 72 to the eventual champions, Kentucky. In his senior season, he averaged 25.3 points and he had a total of 735 points. At the time, that was the second most ever. He led his team to a 25-4 record and he was named the 1949-1950 College Player of the Year. The Warriors, they won the first ever NBA championship, but by the time 1950 came around, they weren't doing so hot. So, with the first overall pick, and they used a territorial pick, they selected Paul. He immediately made an impact, averaging 17 points, 10 rebounds, and he was named an All-Star all in his rookie season and helped the Warriors get back in the playoffs. They were swept in the Eastern Division semifinal series, but they have to start somewhere. But now is when the details start getting really juicy. By the time his second season rolled around, he averaged a whopping 25.4 points a game, 11 rebounds, and shot just about 45% from the field goal which is insane due to the fact that 36% was the average field goal for his time. In the same year, he was awarded the All-Star Game MVP with 26 points and he shot 9-13 and he had 6 rebounds in the East victory over the West. Sadly, his third season, he didn't get to play because he was drafted into the Marine Corps and he had to serve two years during the Korean War. In the two years that Paul didn't play, the Warriors plummeted with a record of 12 and 57 and 29 and 43. They really missed the presence of Paul. But as soon as he came back, he made an immediate impact, averaging 21 points a game, the second most in the NBA that season. And their record improved. Sadly, it wasn't enough to make the playoffs, but they need to start somewhere. But in just a year, he was averaging 24.2 points a game, and he helped lead the Warriors to a 45-27 record, which was good enough to make the playoffs. And they beat Syracuse in five games, and then they ended up making the NBA Finals, in which they beat the Fort Wayne Pistons to win their second title in 10 years. After that, he nagged another scoring title, averaging 25.6 points a game, eight rebounds, and almost 83% from the free throw line. The draft struck again though, and at this time they took his teammate Gola, and 
the Warriors fell to third place with only a 37-35 record, and they were swept in the first round by their rival Syracuse. In the 1957-58 season, he averaged 20 points a game, but he reached a 10,000 point mark faster than anybody else. And the season after that, he averaged 26.4 points a game, but sadly, he did not get the scoring title because Bob Pettit took it from him. For the last three seasons of his career, he continued to average 20 plus points a game, but he could not get past Bill Russell and the Boston Celtics. So this is the end of the amazing career of Paul Arizon. So in conclusion, Paul was a member of the all NBA team four times, three being first, one being second. He was a 10 time all-star. He was the 1952 all-star game most valuable player. He was a two time scoring champ, but most importantly, he won the NBA championship. If you enjoyed my video, please like and subscribe and leave a comment on any criticisms you have and any improvements I can make on my video. I'm trying to get better. This is my first video, so thank you and have a great day.